Thank you for tuning in to the Sunday Morning News. We've got a big story for you today as religious systems become intertwined with social norms and expectations, we begin to think what is real, what is true. And so, during this part of the year, we arrive at Easter. Let's go to the investigative reporter, Mike. Yes, Joshua, we are talking it to the streets, trying to undercover what's been covered right before our eyes. Easter. What does it mean? What does it have to do with Jesus? Today, we have reporters out in the field bringing us what folks have to say about this. What does the Easter Bunny have to do with the God, the Jesus? Nothing, but it don't hurt to ask Jesus to send us some jelly beans and some Easter eggs, which we would really love. Happy Easter. Wow, thank you. What else is out there? Wow, Miles, this is some quite interesting information, Miles. Very intertwining information. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Yes, Joshua, we are getting to the truth. This is investigative reporting at its finest. Wait, we have John Pierre and John Christian coming in. Guys, are you there? Well, actually, I'm glad that you asked that question. Easter is named after the celebration Spring Equinox. Equinox? What is Equinox? That's when people believed in the moon and the sun and believed things like the eclipse was a special mysterious sign. The eclipse? Oh, I know what the eclipse is. It's when you wear that special glasses and it's going to happen next week. Yeah, you're right. That's when the moon covers up the light of the sun. Yeah, and what does that have to do with Jesus? I thought Jesus had to do with Easter. Yeah, it does. And what's that word again? Resurrection? Yeah, resurrection. This is a good conversation. Let's go ask some more kids on the street what they think the meaning of Easter is. Let's go. Excuse me, sir. Me and my brother were talking about what Easter means to people. Would your mom participate? No problem, mom. I got you. To me, Easter means that celebrating Christ and how he rose from the dead three days after he was supposedly died on the cross. To me, that tells me that Jesus came before miracles. And what about the Easter Bunny? What does that mean to you? The Easter Bunny, that one, there's nothing wrong with it, but like, that would be something for the kids, something fun. But the true meaning, meaning is about Christ rising from the, arising from the dead after he was crucified. Thank you, sir. Have a good day. You too. Excuse me, yes. you and my brother was discussing Easter. Can you tell me what Easter means to you? Yeah, it's really when you, when the Easter brother gives out candy to people and you have some egg hunts. And when you take some pictures of the Easter Bunny. What you really need to know about Easter is that Jesus died on our sins. Jesus died for our sins and he rose three days later. And that's what that's why we celebrate. That's why we celebrate Easter. Now come to St. John and Church and we can tell you all about it. Okay, come on. Woohoo! These this is some interesting findings, John Pierre. Yeah, thanks, John Pierre and John Christian. Like before, I thought just like Easter was about all the candy, but now I really realize because of this scripture that Easter's mostly, mostly, mostly about Jesus, how he died on the cross for us, right, Miles? Yes. As he said, at my school, I learn about Jesus, and the gospel talks all about Jesus and his birth, his sacrifice, his death, his resurrection, his burial, and we want to remember that instead of saying, yay, Easter Bunny, and that's not really anything to do with what's really in store about the holiday. And really, 
if we didn't have like the Easter Bunny and everything, we should still celebrate Jesus. And mainly, it's just about Jesus. If we didn't have candy, I'm sure we would be fine with it because we're Christians. Yes. As my father says, dates are nature's candy. And God created them. His creation is wonderful. Very, very wonderful.